Imagine the buzz around Tesla's next-generation compact car, affectionately dubbed the Model 2. Despite swirling rumors of cancellation, this sleek marvel is very much alive and kicking, albeit with a twist. What was once envisioned as a standalone innovation now finds itself in a delightful identity crisis, earning the endearing monikers of Tiny Model 3 Inches or Tiny Model Y. Picture this, Tesla on a mission to democratize electric vehicles, striving to hit that magic $25,000 price point for the Model 2. It's not just about making a car, it's about reshaping the automotive landscape, keeping customers and investors grinning from ear to ear. But how do they plan to pull it off? In a recent earnings call, Tesla revealed its ace in the hole, a radical new approach to manufacturing. No more business as usual. They're blending the best of their current setups with cutting-edge architectures, all under one roof. It's like a symphony of efficiency, where every chord strikes a note of progress. But why the minimalist size for the Model 2, you ask? Well, think of it this way. Smaller footprint means fewer materials, which translates to big savings. And let's not forget about aerodynamics, the secret sauce for maximizing energy efficiency. By trimming the fat without sacrificing interior space, Tesla's engineering wizards are redefining what it means to be sleek and efficient. Now, cast your gaze to the bustling streets of China, where compact EVs reign supreme. The Wuling Mini EV and the BID Seagull, tiny titans that prove size isn't everything. With a nod to these pint-sized pioneers, Tesla's poised to deliver a compact marvel that punches above its weight without breaking the bank. Why would Tesla choose a $1,000 motor for the Model 2? Another extremely promising step for the affordable car is that Tesla can fully utilize the $1,000 motor announced at Investor Day a year ago. For it, the current motor integrated into the Model Y costs up to three times as much. Tesla says the next-generation powertrain will require 75% less silicon carbide to produce without any compromise to performance or efficiency. Despite the new drive unit being a permanent magnet design, Tesla also says it'll require zero rare earth materials. It'll be more production efficient, requiring 50% less factory floor space than the Model Y's motor and around $1,000 less expensive per unit to produce, which is important considering the vehicles built on this platform are expected to be the most affordable Tesla EVs yet. With this super cheap electric motor, the automaker's powertrain designers used in-house developed software to simulate the interaction between the magnetic fields between the stator and the rotor, optimizing the cost, weight, and size and sound of the electric motor through rapid iterative design. They also work closely with Tesla's manufacturing engineers to make similar optimizations to the manufacturing processing materials. It can be said that this engine is extremely suitable for an affordable car, especially when Tesla's wanting to speed up the process and commit to its attractive price. How will the Model 2 achieve low prices with cheaper battery packs? In EVs, the battery pack is the primary factor in determining almost everything related to it besides performance. It directly affects the selling price of the car. As we've updated several times on the battery for the affordable car, previously, Cadiel announced the low-cost vehicle uses their latest Shenxing LFP batteries with a charging time of just 15 minutes, even in cold weather. These batteries enable the world's first 4C fast charging speed with an estimated lifespan of up to 200,000 miles and a cost of around $100 per kilowatt hour. Cattle sends equipment and machinery to produce these batteries to Gig Nevada, and Tesla will soon have access to the first-gen Shenxing LFP cells for its EV models. Even though it may not provide a longer range, perhaps around 250 miles or less, however, it brings many cost, charging, and safety benefits. In the case that Tesla designs a model with a range of 200 miles for the Model 2, it doesn't mean that you can't have a model with a longer range. However, the truth is that many people don't need a range of more than 200 miles for their car, even if it's the primary vehicle used for long trips. 
Why does the Model 2 definitely use 48V low voltage architecture? Using the 48 volt vehicle architecture, pioneered by the Cybertruck to cut wiring costs by 75%, alongside the high voltage electric drivetrain, automakers are also reconsidering low voltage electrical systems, redesigning and reducing the wires that act as the nervous system of the vehicle. Tesla's transitioning from a 12V architecture to 48 volts which will allow for lower current, smaller wires, and components with smaller heat sinks, all contributing to weight reduction. Next, rather than a complex network of analog harnesses, Tesla's moving to a network of smaller controllers also designed and built in-house, connected by Ethernet to the vehicle's powerful central brain. This will greatly reduce the number of wires snaking around the body, and thanks to bi-directional communication, simplified diagnostics, and debugging, the Model 2 adopts the 48-volt architecture to almost 90% as Bino Tesla. A former executive admitted that future models would gradually transition to this architecture. Do you believe that using smaller wheels for the Model 2 will help low-cost EVs improve performance and reduce costs? Perhaps you're aware that replacing tires can be just as costly for consumers as batteries, yet this issue gets less attention. Currently, You've got to spend somewhere around $1,300 to buy four new tires for a Model Y, which can be quite the headache. Smaller wheels are cheaper to make than larger ones. This is because they use less material and require fewer complex production processes. Smaller wheels also have lower inertia, meaning they require less force to rotate. On another note, this simplification can help improve acceleration and energy efficiency of the vehicle. This could save costs for drivers over time. Of course, alongside the advantages, we must accept that the Model 2 will have some drawbacks in terms of less smoothness when driving on those rough and uneven roads. The $25,000 Model 2 could also leverage the following options to improve release speed and time to market. Tesla may consider reducing the size of the screen to reflect the diverse needs of users. A wide 15.1-inch screen may not be the ideal choice for everyone, so offering a smaller option size like a 12-inch screen could be an alternative. What's happening with Tesla's Giga Casting? According to Reuters and two sources familiar with the matter, Tesla appears to have abandoned its ambitious plan to innovate Giga Casting, their pioneering production process, and another sign that the electric car manufacturer is faltering amid declining sales and increasing competition. There's no denying that Tesla is a leader in Giga Casting to produce EVs, an advanced technique that uses giant presses with pressures of thousands of tons to mold large parts of the vehicle's underbody. From the early stages of automotive production, Tesla partnered with the Hydra Group to become the first automaker to use this cutting edge technique, initially with the 6,100T Giga Castings and most recently with the 9,000-ton ones dedicated to the Cybertruck. Typically, automakers assemble vehicle underbodies from hundreds of individual parts. However, Tesla's been at the forefront of using giant presses to cast large parts with the ultimate goal of producing the entire underbody as a single piece. The aim is to simplify the process while significantly reducing manufacturing costs. Of course, this method is prioritized for low-cost EVs. On the other hand, Tesla has also advertised something they call the unbox manufacturing process, where parts are assembled in dedicated areas of the factory and then put together in the final stage. Goldstein states affordable vehicles will ultimately represent the majority of the company's deliveries and predicts an optimistic future where Tesla could deliver around 5 million vehicles by 2030. The cheapest model currently available in the US is the Tesla Model 3 with a starting price of $4,634. This barrier could be a game changer, making electric vehicles a viable choice for ordinary customers. What do you think? Will Tesla's affordable car change the game as dramatically as its pioneering electric vehicles did? We appreciate your valuable contribution. Having said that, we certainly hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, Please hit that like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon.
We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.